My heart's still pounding even after the Pegasus Prime version. <sighs> Did I say I hate that part? Did I hate NORAD with a passion? I did? Good. Because I can't emphasize it enough. Nora is the one part of this game I do not like. When I played it in Prime, oh, it felt so much better. Because that stupid glow part, ugh. The only problem is, is that you do have to do something else in there that's kind of annoying. But it's not as annoying as what we just did. Alright, Global Transport Card. Temporal Security Annex Global Transport. Location classified. Searching for open transport route now. Route access. Upon entering, transport card will be required. Thank you for using Global Transport. So long, TSA. We'll never see you like this again. You're leaving the Temporal Security Agency and the Annex itself. That's right, we're not coming back to this place. Like, do you know where we're going? Please insert your global transport card now. Notice what the computer says. Choose a destination. We're going to Caldoria Heights. Preparing destination Why are we going home? I'll show you. Let's just say this. Recording I know where. Substratum. Prepare for molecular disintegration. Pegasus Prime spoon teach you this information, but this one doesn't. If you think about it, we can see a Cyrolean delegate from our from our apartment. Completing molecular reintegration. Thank you for using global transport. Also, do you remember when we started the game, the elevator went up to the roof access? Global. We didn't want to click on you, but thank you. Let's click this button. I was going to get a shield biochip now. Just in case. You know, I just realized, I don't think we picked anything up at all in NORAD. Roof yeah, we didn't pick up any objects in NORAD. Our inventory is basically what we have. Now, you do need the access card bomb here. We're sorry. The Caldoria Heights Rooftop Observatory card bomb activated. Hey, guess what? I got a shield biochip. Hi! This will end it one way or another. Get back! Now we need to quickly get to the stun gun and peg him. Sorry, Elliot. And notice that we. Oh, it took us two attempts because we died in these two zones. It looks like we had to take two attempts. Yeah, this counts as an attempt. I'm kind of mad about that. The reason why this one got nuked is because, well, between stages, but yeah. We've done it. No, wait. Oh, I remember now. This is NORAD. We did this in one. We died here and we died here. We get all peaceful. So that's good. And look at our energy remaining. We also got age evaluation and a score. Not a bad score. But yeah, if you can do all the zones without dying, you stay one. If you do it without warping back, they stay one as well. So make sure you do that right. Are you ready for the credits? And by the way, Mars calling the part where he died from too much speed. Science Center, walking too far. This was disabled in, in other versions.
So yeah, that's the end of the game. We officially finished. <sighs> I still do love this, even though there were some parts that, like I said, I didn't like. But I did get to see something they didn't show you, as well as some parts that didn't show up during the original. Well, I shouldn't say original, but some deaths and some other things. There are some beta elements of the HUD that showed up, like the energy critical for the, or the oxygen critical for the mask. You notice that there was no timer when you were in Morimoto, you know, there wasn't this one. By the way, this is how many people worked on the original, if I remember correctly. This many. Do you believe it? I believe they started, basically, like a lot of people in their parents, well, in a garage or a basement, and then they got their own studio. If I remember correctly, I could be wrong. There are documents on YouTube about this. The actual Dream In Project YouTube channel has a lot on it. I go watch them for the official word. I'm only regurgitating what I can remember, and my memory is a little scatterbrained, especially after NORAD. NORAD 4 is my least favorite part. I'm going to say it as many times, because that was terrible. <laughs> but... <sighs> As you can see, Elliot Sinclair, Ram Jarvis, he was the one that did the... He was there. Now, it doesn't really tie in well with 2, like it is. But you'll see how they fix that in Pegasus Prime. It does a lot better. But yeah. That's the end of the Dream Man Project Turbo. I'll now cut you back over to actually solving Graham Jarvis. Well, not Graham Jarvis. Ellie Sinclair's problem in Prime. It's a lot different, and it's a lot more interesting. And by the way, did you notice that there was no bomb? Yeah. So yeah, I'm going to end this part here. Going back to the Prime one final time. Hope you had fun, and I'll see you over there. Well, if you feel like an idiot like I do right now after that. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm having a great day. I'm just glad we're almost done now, because I feel like an idiot. Did I tell you how much I hate NORAD 6? I think that's why I call it NORAD 4. I put it at minus two on the levels I like. Uh, between that puzzle with the countries that do end up killing you quite a lot because of the way it's implemented. I'll be honest, he's the hardest one to get. Oh good, they're back in their proper positions. All's right with the world. By the way, guys. Try this recipe. Take one Cerolin, mix in a blender with a little milk and a whole banana. Not too sweet, but really a treat. Number one, that was in the Mac version. Number two, did you guys realize that the first time? If it gave you a clue that he's the enemy, then pretty good. You've heard your cookie. If you just realize that now, I'm sorry. But I do have a present for those of you that missed it. Did you guys miss it? Did you? Well, I do have a present. You guys want that present? Well, for those of you that missed, they really want me to make it up to them. I have a present for you. Let's make this right about the whole thing with NORAD 6. And the whole thing on me messing up. Let's just make it all better, alright? You wanna know how we do that? Let's take a trip to other while holding E. Preparing destination transporter. Recording passengers organic substrata. Prepare for molecular disintegration. Congratulations! If you got it wrong or you want me to make up for NORAD 6, here's your prize. 
Are you ready for it? Look up because here it comes! And up. Free cow! <laughs> but yeah, look at our score right now. So close to the end. I know I'm just reloading. I could just go continue, but like I said, try not to create any more ripples. So are we all good now? I got mooed down by the Diablo beast of hell. If you know the joke on Diablo 2. I've gotten my butt blasted by that. We're all even. Made for the Norad 6, let's go. There's only one place to go. Not on vacation. But right back to Caldoria. Unfortunately, unlike the first time, we won't know if this is right until after. Because we don't get to fly this time. But now they've been rearranged molecules like three times already and killed four times. Look where we are. There's a reason why we're coming here. Do you remember the beginning of the game? Do you? Where we started? Here? Do you remember how someone went to the roof access? Didn't that look a lot like Sinclair? Second floor. At least the good news is we get to sit in our house after. We can go back to our room and just go crash and take a nap. I need one after all the mistakes I made during this one. I need a vacation! Roof access. Let's improvise. Let's improvise is right. But we'll put on your shield bio just for this one, kids. You're gonna die if you don't. Card bomb activated. Good idea, Gage. If you hold it, you get the old one. Yeah, that would kill you. Can you say flammable? Stay back! Stay back! Don't try to stop me! I knew they'd send a TSA agent when the rips were detected. You foiled all my attempts to alter the past, but you won't stop me now. You're as tricky as one of those aliens, aren't you? Trying to sneak around, attack me, but you have failed. And I will be Earth's savior whether it acknowledges me or not. Oh boy. Great, he's off the rocker. Let's spread out. So don't go left. I mean, don't go right, go left the way I'm going. Two steps forward. Step to the right. Put your stun gun and make it all okay. right. Brilliant plan on the way. Warning. Bomb detonation is imminent. <coughs> you must disarm the nuclear device. Don't you ever wish you could do this when you need to? Good night, Elliot. Dream about E.T. It's okay. He'll give you Reese's Pieces. There you go. It's okay. Thermal nuclear device armed. Uh oh. Initiated. That's not good. 
Are you ready for the last puzzle in the game? Which wasn't in the original, but mentioned? She knows that this was actually mentioned that there was a thermonuclear bomb or something in the original, but they didn't do anything with it. As soon as you shot Sinclair, it was over. Now look. We're here at the end of the game. Final puzzle. Oh, I suppose you want to save the world. Well, yeah. This has a very easy way to solve it, or a very hard way to solve it. Always start from an odd node. Like an odd, odd node is one like that one I started with that had three. Like one, two, three brat paths. Start from nose. Alright. I'm still gonna mess up once. I have not been able to do this without messing up at least once. Three nodes. Two. Two. Doop. 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 Oh no. I mucked it. I'm not getting the achievement for doing this perfectly. Because I didn't pay attention. I crossed. I could have done this. He was a little too cocky and he paid for it. He paid for it in spades. Luckily there's a lot of time. Like, literally, there is a lot of time. You have about 10 minutes. So, don't panic. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three. Okay, here's a three. And back this way. All right, halfway done. Halfway there. Living on a prayer. And we've only taken about two minutes at most. Okay, let's count. There's four. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, this is right here. The thing is, this isn't foolproof. You'll see why soon, hopefully, if I, as long as I don't mess this up. Well, you probably want me to mess up because I just said it's not foolproof and, well, being a fool. But... Oh, four down. Notice it means this game more intense as we go. Yeah, the first time I was getting close to the end, my heart was hopping. Three. All right, do the cross. All right. And down. Up. That way. That way, that way, that way. Skip this note and click and boom. Huh. Last one. The hardest one. And we got buttloads of time. One, two, three, four. Two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Slow and steady wins the race here, okay? Trust me on this. Slow and steady will win. Just focus and focus. All right. Connect the nodes. There's so many ways you can do this puzzle. Just make sure you connect them all correctly and you win! Nice work, Gage. That's the game! Like I said, start from an odd and just connect all the nodes, do not double back, and you'll deactivate. If I didn't do a dumb, I would have gotten an achievement for doing it perfect. If I would have waited until there was no time left, I would have gotten an achievement for that. 
I just received information that Sinclair's new lab has been located and secured. Agents found multiple robots, biochips, a roughly constructed time travel device, and, unfortunately, the design specs for a mobile... <coughs> In his office, he left mm -hmm. a journal log that hinted that he would assassinate the Sirolan delegate during the procession. Now, our analysis indicates that the rooftop observatory of your building has the clearest shot. You rush up there now to... Look up here! Hold it. You're, you're there already. Sinclair is knocked out. <sighs> Great work, Agent 5. I beg you as a maverick. I'm glad you proved me wrong. I've got uh, someone here who wants to talk with you. When you die, take a look out of the telescope on the railing. I think you'll see something very exciting. And again, well done. Wouldn't you know it, while we were all watching the future unfold, little boy Wonder here was saving the past. Next time you offer to draw straws, I'll know something's up. Well, don't worry, I'll get my chance. Congratulations, Agent 5. But that's it. We saved the world. With a perfect score. <sighs> so how does it feel to see the end of this one? And we get a sneak preview of the next game. But if we hold E, we get an extended feature. Officially admitted into the symbiotry of peaceful beings. Gratitude, but I honor you, Gage Blackwood, with the Paragon Medal for Valorous Service. At conference this morning, the government admitted the existence of the Temporal Security Agency, an organization. can be attributed to Agent 5, Gage Blackwood, who single-handedly defeated Sinclair's name. Quick, there's not much time to explain. They'll be here any second. Yes, I am you. I've come from the future. I, you, we've been framed. Now whatever you try to do, do not interfere with what's about to happen. The suit I'm gonna transfer over to you will keep you close, so just stand still and watch. When it's all over, you'll be pulled 10 years forward in the future to my present. From there out, it's all up to you. Oh, and I've hidden more information inside of you. You'll figure out what I mean. Here comes the jumpsuit. Smart move dumping your jumpsuit gauge. It's a good thing I got here before you got too far. So, where is it? What does that matter anyhow? What, do you think I'm not gonna be able to transport you back without it? Look, there's two ways we can do this. Either suit up and jump back with me, or I'm gonna have to use the remote. And you know which is less painful. Yeah, I know. Do what you have to. Okay, have it your own way, Gage. But don't think we won't find the jumpsuit. Didn't you even realize that violating house arrest was going to make things worse for you? I mean, until you did this. You know, I, I couldn't believe for a second that you were guilty. But now, well, I guess that's just for a jury to decide. Come on, let's go. To be continued in... The Journeyman Project 2, Buried in Time. We have the extended version. There is the original version, which we'll see when we actually play it. Did you guys notice the maintenance key was in the was in the thing? It was in the upper right hand corner when we checked the mirror. 
We are officially done. You can see all the names here. But that was a fun run. You know I did myself on a few things. <sighs> like I said, I do love this series though. I mean, this was the original one. I originally played only Turbo and then recently just got a hold of the other two this year thanks to that lady and played through them. My love for this series has not changed. So yeah. How have you enjoyed this run to a uh, past classic of mine? In fact, if you really enjoy it, I hope you picked up a copy and played through it too on your own. In your own way, feel free to hit walkthrough mode and see the differences. Feel free to go for all the achievements. I didn't even list them all. There's no way I could get them all myself either. Because some of them you need luck and skill. Like, doing the bomb puzzle in NORAD in 88 seconds is pure luck almost. Because that puzzle is pure RNG random. But I really do love this series and this game. This is why I got into PC gaming is because of this one. And there is a YouTube channel for the Dreamin' Project, which I did look up some resources from. I won't link them, but if you look up Pre the Dreamin' Project, you will find them easily. It's their channel. Like, it's right up there. You can see some interviews with Kriplani, who's the main guy, which you saw in the credits just now. It says his name. You got some other things, including the guy who did the soundtrack, which, by the way, is a good soundtrack, as you can hear. I love this song, too. Mm. Do you know Andrews? That's the name right there. But yeah. We're officially at the end of the project for now. If you really want me to not skip and just go right to number two, let me know. Oh, right, that six months later will become true. You know what? I'm still working on getting good at number two, so it's a little rusty. Like, I've only been number two once so far. And I don't have the route solid yet, like I do this one. But, it's worth it. And also, I hope you enjoyed having Arthur come along. We'll meet him actually in number two. Number two is where he actually comes from. And his look is actually from number three, so we'll see him a lot more in the future. But yeah, the route I took, you could have done the easier if you went two th through... World 2, which is, well, the Norad, the Science Center, Norad 6, and then Morimo, and you would have had the optimum route. I only went the way I did just, uh, line up with Turbo. And, well, I'll give you guys a couple of bonus episodes, and then after that, this will see what we'll do next. But one last thing before we go. That's right. The actor for Ellie Sinclair died in 2003, and this game was dedicated to his memory. So yeah, I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. And I'll see you guys on the next one, I guess. But before I go, I got one last thing to show you. All the great people that worked on this game! But yeah, you can see... Presto West. I'll just slowly go, well, somewhat slowly go through. You guys can see all the great people that worked on this. And by the way, good reference to MST3K. Good time wearing my MST3K Revival shirt today while I record this. But yeah. Hmm. The guy that started it all. Morimoto. I think she's the one that did the acting for Space Calling 2. I'm not percent sure. Yeah, I think I've seen your cornbread. I think I kind of ate it when I got Arthur. There's a support team for Pegasus Prime. There's our musician. He did the death illustrations, which we've seen a lot of them. But not all of them, there's a ton of them. Trust me, go back and find some of them. <laughs> no, it doesn't need more cowbell. 
This is a reference to number two. Of course, he does the... And the original team. You see that some of them did reappear for this. But yeah. Uh, something to note. Shell. I believe Michelle Visor is her married name in this game. I think some versions of it had Michelle actually has, well, you know, herself in a way. Kind of a joke, but in a way, you know. You see all the people. We'll be seeing Ray Euler in the next two games. We'll be seeing Todd in the next game. Graham is in all four of them. As you saw, he was in the original and in this one. So there's a few repeats, but not too many. And yes, we'll be seeing Michelle in the next game too. And who, Jack. Which is Daniel Mann. So yeah. We ended here. And no, you can visit the dreamingproject.com. They also have a YouTube channel, which I mentioned. So yeah, I'm out of here, guys. I hope you had fun. And I'll see you in the next one. Officially now. See you then.